Well, here we go again. Let's get this postage stamp party up and running. This is one of the four packets I showed you in the last video. And as you can see, these stamps are all supposed to be from Belgium and cost me a grand total of 50 pence. The last one that I looked at was a mixed lot from around the world. If you haven't seen that video and want to check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the corner now. There you go. This particular little packet shouldn't really tax my brain or eyesight trying to make out where these stamps come from, unlike in the last video. Anyway, let's pop this bad boy open and see what we've got. There we go. I don't know how many stamps are in this one. In the last video, we were supposed to have 50 stamps in the packet. Turned out that there was only 44. It's probably it's going to be around about the same amount, I I reckon. Right, let's go in on the first one here. Where are we? There we go. Just got to orientate myself and the camera. There we are. That was the first one. Let's try and grab this one. Here's the second. Belgium apparently issued their first ever stamps in 1849. Look at this one here. Postmark on that. Is that 1933? Oops. Yeah, 1933. Bit of age to them. Just grab that one there. Lovely postmark there, Brussels. The guy in this stamp, I think it's King Leopold II. I think we might have a couple of those in here. Picking away at them. There we go. Have you ever been to Belgium yourself? I have. The last time I went was in 2011. I visited um, Bruges. Spent a week there. And what a lovely time I had. Okay, I'm picking these out. Where are we? There we are. If you like canals, cobbled streets, and medieval buildings, and Bruges, it's definitely the place for you. There's some lovely postmarks on some of these stamps. Definitely got some age to them. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking I prefer them to the last packet. There we go. Oh. Yeah, so back to Bruges. It's got a lovely um, what do you call it? Market Square in the city centre and a really cool bell tower just off the market centre that you can go up that featured in the film In Bruges starring Colin Farrell so if you do want to get a feel for the city do check out that film I'm not being sponsored to say that, but like I said, that film does show quite a lot of the city itself. I also did a load of the old touristy stuff. 
what you do when you go on city breaks. I uh, had a trip on the canals all around uh, Bruges city centre itself, which is lovely. One of the buildings it has got the smallest window, I think, in Belgium. Or maybe it's just Bruges, I can't remember. But yeah, it was a real, real tiny window. Just in one of the, uh, the buildings, like I said. And I also did a bit of a tour on a horse and cart. Again, very lovely. What do you think of the stamps so far? Are you giving them a thumbs up? Do let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, I'm liking them more than the packet that we looked at the other day. Good looking post marks, like I said. Here we go. Oh, hold on, let me try and get that. Is that 1893? Yeah, I reckon it is. Age to it. Bit of age. Let's bring these down here. Nope. King Leopold the second if you do go to Belgium and obviously you've got to try their beer it'd be rude not to but if you're not a beer drinker they've also got the chocolate and waffles that they're famous for, so everyone's a winner. Ah, there we go. Didn't uh, Tintin, that comic book character, and the Smurfs for that matter, originate from Belgium. I think they did, you know. I'm a bit embarrassed by the fact that I know that. I'm still undecided as to whether or not to do a PO box this year. Like I said, please let me know if you're interested in me setting up a PO box and send me some stamps and I can send you some in return some coins some other collectible items that I might have excess of so yeah just get at me down in the comment section if you would like me to set that PO box up Coming to the last couple now. What's that? 1961 to 1982. An overprint on that. Like I mentioned before, some great Postmark cancellations here. If you, if you collect postmarks, and yeah, this little packet is for you. Oh, come on. Finally, the last one. Holding on to it by a thread. Here we go. Were you counting? Because I wasn't. 
I might um, spread them out and uh, yeah, get a, a total of how many stamps were in that little packet. So overall, I think this particular packet of stamps has been better than the last one we went through. There's definitely a bit of age to a lot of them. If you enjoy me doing these kind of videos where I open up a packet and go through the stamps and show them to you, please do let me know in the comment section below. That'd be great. And there you go. That's it for this particular one. Hope you've enjoyed looking at the stamp from Belgium. There's some lovely examples in there. And for 50p, well, I'm happy with that price. All right, it's onwards and upwards. If you've liked this one, then please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help. Thanks for watching. If you have, hit that like button. And until the next one, bye for now. Just before I really do go, I thought I'd bring you guys back and let you know that there were 38 stamps in that packet. All right, I'll see you on the next one.